Hello, I'm Rochelle with the Edwards team and host of the Genuine Realtor Show. Today we're sharing some thoughts on getting the best deal on a home by using the listing agent when buying. Curious? Let's go. There is this idea in the consumer's mind that the best way to get a deal when buying a home is to use the listing agent. While it may make sense from the outside, the professionals in real estate know the truth and I'm here to drop some knowledge. Let's start with why many people think this is the best approach. When you buy a home with your realtor, they are traditionally paid their commission by the sellers. The thought is if you buy through the listing agent, the sellers will save the buyer agent commission since there is no buyer agent and then pass that savings along to you. Did you catch that? They believe that they will pay less for the home because the seller is paying less in commission. I totally get why this is the impression people have, but let's clear the air with some facts. The commission is agreed upon between the seller and the listing agent in the listing agreement. When there is a sale, the commission amount is paid to the listing brokerage. If there is no other realtor involved, then the entire commission stays with the listing brokerage. Sometimes the listing agent and the seller will agree to a lesser commission if the realtor represents both the buyer and the seller, but that's not a guarantee. When these types of agreements are made, the seller still expects to get the best price possible and the realtor is working for their client's best interest. Their fiduciary duties are not to the buyer and the goal is not helping to save you money on the buying side. This is further outlined in the client versus customer relationship. A realtor must provide their clients with full disclosure and good faith, so treating the client with honesty and putting the client's needs above our own, accountability which ensures the transaction complies with Ontario requirements. Confidentiality, or not sharing information about the client that may negatively affect their outcome. However, this does not extend to disclosing material facts about a home. If there is an issue that needs to be disclosed, we are bound to do so. Competence in our knowledge and required skills to serve our clients. Loyalty, where we put the interests of our clients above all else within the limitations of the law. And lastly, obedience, which is the duty to follow our clients' instructions, again, within the limitations of the law. In contrast, when you are a customer, the realtor owes you an ethical duty to treat you fairly, honestly, and with integrity. We must exercise competence, avoid misrepresentation, and can only offer a restricted level of service when it comes to showing properties, drafting documents, presenting an offer, etc. This is because we are bound to provide our fiduciary duties to the client. Still thinking it's worth trying to get a lower price? The reason the listing agent shares the commission with the buyer agent is because both sides of the transaction come with a lot of work. From drafting documents, educating buyers, negotiating inspections, sending documents, fulfilling lender requirements, follow-up visits, and more, the buyer agent's role is not small or easy. Expecting the listing agent to take on the buyer's needs in addition to the seller for half the commission is grossly unfair. In fact, when we are in a dual representation situation, which is the technical term when a realtor handles both sides, things become far more complicated than they would be if we only represented one side. We have to guard our words, we can still share information, but we can't interpret it on your behalf, and we can't share specific opinions about how you should proceed. We also have to have you be more involved in the process as we cannot accept notices or waivers on your behalf. This means more signatures and more responsibility on your shoulders. Now that you have a deeper understanding of this scenario, next time you're thinking about buying, remember that the seller is paying the commission either way, so you might as well have someone representing your best interests. Have any questions, feel free to reach out or leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. We truly appreciate it. Keeping it genuine, your realtors, the Edwards team of Todd Real Estate.